we work on a disease, it's a fungus that um, affects frogs. And this disease has been found out to be a major contributor to the global declines in amphibians that we're unfortunately currently seeing. Um, this uh, fungus, I'm going to say the name, it's called Betrachochytrium dendrobatidis, but for obvious reasons we call it BD, it's a bit of a mouthful, um, has been spreading around the world and these frogs that you see around you are affected by this fungus. The zoo spores that are produced by BD swim through the water and when they strike the amphibian skin they deploy some very potent enzymes called proteases. These zoospores literally burn their way into the amphibian skin and they then become intracellular and go through subsequent reproductive cycles to colonize the skin of the amphibian and it's that point that skin function is disrupted and that the animal will, be, will fall sick. These midwife toads are the most susceptible species to the fungus. The treatment that we have developed here in these laboratories is an antifungal drug called itraconazole. This is commonly used in humans and in pets, but we've found that if we use very dilute concentrations of this antifungal with tadpoles or these metamorphs, then they will clear infection. The chytrid is thankfully very, very susceptible to um, itraconazole. So by finding the exact dose that we can use on an animal without harming it, we can then go into natural environments and try those doses on infected animals and then to clear them. So I have a fantastic collaborator in Spain called Jaime Bosch and he works on the island of Mallorca. Jaime Bosch went there year after year. Sometimes he had helicopters to lift these tadpoles out. Sometimes it was just backpacks with water bottles with tadpoles in and air bubblers. Once these tadpoles were in a captive environment, they then got the itraconazole treatment they were kept until we were sure that they were clear of infection and then were reintroduced back into the environment. In association with this, we also use some chemical disinfection in the environment where we wash rocks with this compound called Vercon, which cleared any residual stages that was of the fungus that were clinging to the rocks. And by doing this, we eventually cleared the infection from the island of Mallorca. This is, this is a massive coup because this is the first time that a wildlife disease has actually been combated and eradicated in nature. So already uh, scientists are using our itraconazole treatment protocol in other species, in Panama, um, in Costa Rica. They're having some success in at least being able to create captive amphibian arcs where they have clean animals without the fungal infection that are breeding so that when we do come up with a uh, mitigation a approach that we can use in the environment, then we actually have these captive species that which we can then reintroduce to the wild.